Dooley is the winningest coach in Georgia football history with 201 wins, six SEC titles, six of them, and a national championship back in the 1980s. Our Andy Cole caught up with some Bulldogs who, with a big game on their mind, are grieving. Just hours before Georgia prepares to take the field against one of their biggest rivals, Florida, the dogs got some sad news. Legendary head football coach and athletic director Vince Dooley passed away. Here's what some of the biggest dog fans had to say. It's really heartbreaking because Coach Dooley, he was, well, I mean, heck, he was Coach Dooley. Friday, the dogs have more than Florida on their minds. They're grappling with the passing of the winningest football coach in UGA history, Vince Dooley. As young as I can remember, he was the man of Georgia football. He, he, was, he was everything. And even as he left in the coaching ranks and he became AD, he was, you know, always around, always part of the program. Dooley coached the dogs for a quarter century from 1964 until 1988. In 1979, he took on the athletic director role alongside coaching and served in that role until 2004. He racked up an impressive 201 wins, a national championship, six SEC titles, and eight bowl victories. Coach Dooley did not like Florida. In just hours, the Dogs will face the Gators for their annual meetup in Jacksonville. Fans we talked to think Dooley's death will give the Dogs yet another reason to take down Florida. It'll be interesting to see how, how what kind of effect, hopefully a positive effect it will have. I'm sure they'll have a little bit, a little bit extra juice. As UGA fans all over share their sorrow, many are reminded that Kirby Smart is the first football coach to bring a national championship back to Athens last season. Dooley died a dog on top. In a tweet sent out Friday, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp called Vince Dooley, quote, truly a damn good dog. He was 90. In Savannah, I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News.